गुड मॉर्निंग आई टिकट साल एंड माई पार्टनर थिल्टी मोचू विल बी प्रेजेंटिंग ऑन द टॉपिक वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ हिस्ट्री सिस मोटर सो इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन वी आर गोन कवर इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ हिस्ट्री सिस मोटर कंस्ट्रक्शन वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल एंड ऑपरेशन चेन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ हिस्ट्री सिस मोटर इन विद माई प्रेजेंटेशन फर्स्टली आई एम गोइंग टू गिव अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन ऑन द हिस्ट्री सिस मोटर It is a synchronized motor with a uniform air gap without DC excitation. It operates both on single phase and three phase supply. Torque is produced due to hysteresis and eddy current induced in a rotor by the action of rotating flux of the stator windings. Starting with zero torque, this motor gradually accelerates, showcasing their smooth and steady operation. Once in the running state, They maintain a constant speed, perfect for applications that demand precision and low vibration. So next, I'm going to present on a construction of a hysteresis motor. So firstly, stator. It is a. It is designed to produce rotating magnetic field from single phase supply. It has two windings, main winding and auxiliary winding. So secondly it is a rotor the core of the rotor is made up of non magnetic material many thin rings form the hysteresis ring to avoid eddy current loss hysteresis ring are made up of hard chrome or cobalt steel hence there is no winding in rotor so this is the construction of hysteresis motor where it is showing the ferromagnetic core rotor ring stator and air gap Hello everybody. My name is Sultim and I will be talking on uh, working principle and operation of the hysteresis motor as well as the speed torque characteristic graph of the hysteresis motor. As you can see here, due to the rotating magnetic field produced by phase splitting or a shaded pole stator, eddy currents are induced in the steel of the rotor and it then travels across the two bar paths of the rotor shown below. A high retentivity steel produces a high hysteresis loss and a significant amount of energy is consu- consumed from the rotating field in reversing the current direction of the rotor. At the same time, the rotor magnetic field set up by the eddy currents causes the rotor to rotate. A high starting torque is then produced as a result of the high rotor resistance which is proportional to the loss uh, created by the hysteresis effect. As the rotor approaches synchronous speed the frequency of the current reversal in the cross bars decreases and the rotor becomes permanently magnetized in one direction as a result of the high retentivity of the steel rotor with the two fill poles the rotor will then develop a speed of 3600 rpm at the frequency 60 hertz uh, the, the motor will run as a hysteresis motor on the hysteresis torque because the motor is permanently magnetized the amount of torque produced as a result of this magnetization is not as great as the reluctance torque produced by the reluctance motor but the hysteresis torque is extremely steady in both amplitude and phase despite the fluctuations of the speed voltage next we have the torque speed characteristics graph as shown below uh, we have a starting torque and then we have a uh, synchronous speed The rotor before going to the steady state running condition it goes under the slip frequency so therefore it can be said that when the rotor starts to rotate with the help of this eddy current torque due to the induction phenomenon it behaves like uh, like an induction motor when the speed of the rotor reaches near about the synchronous speed the stator pulls the rotor into synchronism At the condition of synchronism the relative motion between the stator field and rotor field vanishes hence no eddy current to generate in the rotor thus the torque due to eddy current vanishes uh, this hysteresis uh, motor starting with a zero torque uh, gradually accelerate which showcases their smooth and steady operation once in the running state they maintain a constant speed perfect for applications which demand precision and low vibration with this our presentation comes to an end and thank you for listening